Behold, the day of the Lord shall come, a cruel day and full of indignation and of wrath and fury, to lay the land desolate and to destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and their brightness shall not display their light. The sun shall be darkened in his rising, and the moon shall not shine with her light. And now that it was officially decided among the leaders of the Jews that it be expedient for one man to die for the people, Jesus no longer went about openly, but withdrew to the district near the desert, to a town called Ephraim. And there he stayed with his disciples. And the Passover was now close at hand, and already pilgrims were going up to Jerusalem. But Jesus, knowing what awaited him in that city, decided to make a last tour of the cities and villages. And he rose in the desert and with his twelve took the road that led westward. And the day came when he was near a small town at the border of Samaria and Galilee. And off from the road stood ten men who raised up their voices at the sight of his coming. Here he comes. Come, let's hurry to him. Wait. What is it? They will scatter like flies if we rush out, or else stone us to death. But he will pass us by. Call out as is the law. Now. Unclean. 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 Look, master. Lepers. Ten of them. Go, show yourselves to the priests. Go, show ourselves to the priests. What good will that do? Come, let us do as he says. They'll hold their noses at the sight of us and order us away. Have you no faith in the man? Come, let us obey. Oh, very well. Let us rest here, Master. There are many who would listen to you. Here is a man who wants to ask something. Master, when is the kingdom of God coming? The kingdom of God comes unawares. Neither will they say, Behold, here it is. For well, behold, there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. This is an obscure saying, Master. Please, sir, the Master has spoken. Now excuse us, he wishes to speak to his twelve privately. Master, the man's question but reflects the minds of many, even among us. Constantly men pull at our sleeves to draw us aside and say, Ask the Master, when is the kingdom of God coming? The days will come when you will long to see one day of the Son of Man and will not see it. Then if anyone say to you, Behold, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will arise and will show great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Behold, I have told it to you beforehand. If, therefore, they say to you, Behold, he is in the desert, do not go forth. Behold, he is in the inner chambers, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes forth from the east and shines even to the west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. But first, he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. And as Jesus spoke thus to his disciples, the ten lepers were walking the road 
to present themselves to the priests. And upon seeing people from afar, they departed from the road and shouted their cries in accordance with the law. Unclean! 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 Look! My hand! It's cured! Not a white spot on it! But... But look at my face! I... I can feel! Look! Look, tell me! What do you see? Your face is... as it was six years ago. Glory unto God that such a man has come into the world. Clean. We're clean again. We're clean. We're clean. And as the ten hurried along the road to find the priests, Jesus continued to speak to those around him. But immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give her light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then will all tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming upon the clouds of heaven with great power and majesty. And he will send forth his angels with a trumpet and a great sound. And they will gather his elect from the four winds, from end to end of the heavens. Where, Lord? Where? 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 Wherever the body is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Pray, do not lose heart. We will never lose heart, Master, and we shall pray. There was a judge in a certain town who did not fear God and did not respect man. Now there was a certain widow in that town, and she kept coming to him saying, Do me justice against my adversary. And he would not for a long time. But afterwards he said within himself, Although I do not fear God nor even respect man, yet because this widow bother me, I will do her justice, lest by her continual coming she finally wear me out. Hear what this unjust judge says, and will not God avenge his elect who cry to him day and night? And will he be slow to act in their case? I tell you that he will avenge them quickly, Yet, when the Son of Man comes, will he find, do you think, faith on earth? Now the ten lepers went into the town and sought out the priests, who were amazed that they had become whole. And they affirmed that the ten were cured and prescribed the sacrifices they must make according to the law of Leviticus. And the ten rejoiced exceedingly. Oh, what a joy it is to be well again. Now I'll see my family, my friends. They'll make a great feast for me. Truly, it's like being born again. Come home with me, all of you. Come, and we'll celebrate our release from despair. Aye, aye, willingly. Aye. And you... Will you not come? No. But why not? I must return to him who cured us. What? Re return when you're here? You lose precious time and could be on your way to your family. Or is it you have no family? I have a family and I love them dearly. Then why lose time going back? Right after the feast you can start for home. It would not be right not to return and thank him. Don't think we're ungrateful, but he'll be nearby. And as soon as we see our families, we'll seek him out and tell him how grateful we are. In fact, we'll go tomorrow. Yes, yes, no. He may be gone tomorrow. I must go now. Why do you persist? If you return alone, 
It will make the rest of us appear ungrateful. Then come with me. As I said, tomorrow. Surely when many of us have not seen our families for years, the master will understand. And when they ask how this miracle came to be, what will you say? Why, that Jesus cured us. And when your wife says we must run and thank Jesus, Will you be able to say, it has been done? And leaving the nine companions, the man walked back to the place where Jesus was teaching. And as it came to pass in the days of Noah, even so will it be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, they were marrying and giving in marriage, until the day when Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Or as it came to pass in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking, they were buying and selling, they were planting and building. But on the day when Lot went out from Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. In the same wise will it be on the day that the Son of Man is revealed. In that hour, let him who is on the housetop and his goods in the house not go down to take them away. And likewise, him who is in the field not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Whoever tries to save his life will lose it. And whoever loses it will preserve it. I say to you on that night there will be two on one bed, one will be taken and the other will be left. Two women will be grinding together, one will be taken and the other will be left. Two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other will be left. Master! Master! Who is it running toward us? Clean! Clean! I am clean! Be not afraid! The leper! The Master has cured me and the others as well. I have returned to give glory unto God at your feet, Master. I, the leper, and the Samaritan, give thanks to you, Master, who bringest the glory of God to man on earth. Were not the ten made clean? Yes. Yes, Master. Where are the nine? They have gone to a feast to celebrate this great day. Has no one been found to return and give glory to God except this foreigner? Master, they will come later. But thou, Samaritan, did come at once. Aye. To give glory. Arise. Yes, Master. Go thy way. For thy faith has saved thee. And having sent the Samaritan on his way, Jesus continued his words. That in the days to come, after he had been put to death, his followers would remember all that he had said. Now from the fig tree learn this parable. When its branch is now tender and the leaves break forth, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. Amen, I say to you. This generation will not pass away till all these things have been accomplished. Heaven and earth will pass away. But my words will not pass away. Good master, what shall I do to gain eternal life? Why dost thou call me good? Why, everyone... No one is good, but only God. Yes, of course, but... Thou knowest the commandments. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. 
All these I have kept ever since I was a child. One thing is still lacking to thee. What, Master? Tell me, and I will remedy it at once. Sell all that thou hast and give to the poor. All? All I have? Master, I, I have a great deal of treasure to, to suddenly sell it. Why, I would be penniless. Thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Come, follow me. Master, gladly would I follow you, but it, it is too much that you ask. Oh, with what difficulty will they who have riches enter the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Master, then who can be saved? Very few, it seems. He asks the impossible. Things that are impossible with men are possible with God. Behold, we have left all and followed thee. What then shall we have? Amen. I say to you that you who have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory shall also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left house, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold and shall possess life everlasting. But many who are first now will be last. And many who are last now will be first. Many times you have said this to us, Master, and still there are some among us who don't understand. The kingdom of heaven is like a householder who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. And having agreed with the laborers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And about the third hour he went out and saw others standing in the marketplace idle. And he said to them, Go you also into the vineyard, and I will give you whatever is just. So they went. And again he went out about the sixth and about the ninth hour and did as before. But about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing about, and he said to them, Why do you stand here all day idle? And they said to him, because no man has hired us. He said to them, Go also into the vineyard. But when the evening had come, the owner of the vineyard said to his steward, Call the laborers, pay them their wages, beginning from the last even to the first. Now, when they of the eleventh hour came, they received each a denarius. Denarius? But, Master, they had worked but a short time. And when the first in their turn came, they thought that they should receive more. But they also received each his denarius. And on receiving it, they began to murmur against the householder, saying, These last have worked a single hour, and thou hast put them on a level with us who have borne the burden of the day's heat. But answering one of them, he said, Friend, I do thee no injustice. Didst thou not agree with me for a denarius? Take what is thine and go. I choose to give to this last even as to thee. Have I not a right to what I choose? Or art thou envious because I am generous? Even so, the last shall be first and the first last. For many are called, but few are chosen. Now there were many people about Jesus, and there were mothers with their children, and they brought their children to him, that he might touch them. And for this, the disciples rebuked them. No, no, woman. You must not bring your child to the master. He is busy now. He is tired. Be gone, woman. There are many who wish to speak with the master. Peter. Yes, master. Let 
the little children come to me and do not hinder them. But if such is the kingdom of heaven. But, Master, there are many men here who would speak with you, and if we permit the children to come before Amen, them... I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God as a child will not enter into it. Very well, Master. Permit the children to come to Jesus. And the mothers brought the children, and Jesus put his hands upon them and blessed them. And after they had left, he lifted up his voice and spoke this parable also to some who trusted in themselves as being just and despised others. Two men went up to the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and began to pray thus within himself, O God, I thank thee that I am not like the rest of men, robbers, dishonest, adulterers, or even like this publican. I fast. Twice a week I pay tithes of all that I possess. But the publican, standing afar off, would not so much as lift up his eyes to heaven, but kept striking his breast, saying, O oh God, be merciful to me, the sinner. I tell you, this man went back to his home justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself shall be humbled, and he who humbles himself shall be exalted. And all these things Jesus spoke, and all these things he did as he made his last tour. He led the twelve down from Galilee through Perea, and when he continued along the Jordan toward the crossing where John the Baptist had preached, they became alarmed. Master, Master, wait. Come, let's hurry. Master, whither art thou taking us? Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem. But, Master, thy enemies are there. And the Son of Man will be betrayed to the chief priests and the scribes. And they will condemn him to death and will deliver him to the Gentiles. And they will mock him, spit upon him, and scourge him, and put him to death. And on the third day, he will rise. And they understood none of these things. And the saying was hidden from them. Neither did they get to know the things that were being said. Behold, the day of the Lord shall come. A cruel day and full of indignation and of wrath and of fury. To lay the land desolate and to destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and their brightness shall not display their light. The sun shall be darkened in his rising, and the moon shall not shine with her light.